This is bullshit. Why are we here? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out! Guys! Now is not the time to go crazy! I still don't understand. Why us? You don't think that we're gonna be killed or something, do you? <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Rona Dragnail and welcome to Remember Remember Demo. This is the demo version. Um, I just want to say Happy Halloween guys! And Michaela Laws just released the demo version of Remember Remember and I am super psyched to play it for you guys since it's horror and it's Halloween. So yeah, thank huge th thanks to Michaela Laws and Ethan, Noth Ethan Nakashima. Wow, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, if you guys don't know, Michaela Laws is the creator of Sedu the Seduce Me series and is the voice for Diana. And Ethan Nakashima is also the programmer working with Michaela Laws for the Seduce Me game. And he's the voice for Matthew. So, I'm really psyched that these two work together to create this game. I bet they worked super, super hard to make this happen. And I can't wait to play it. So, with that, let us start. Chris! Chris! Don't go out too far, you two! I won't. Watch over her, Chris! Yeah, I know. Come on, let's go! Hey, wait up! <sighs> okay, so I believe Chris is, uh, the voice actor for Chris is Alejandro. I think. Okay. Where am I? Oh, yes. Yes, that's Alejandro, who is also the voice actor for Sam in the Seduce Me series. <laughs> what the? Where am I? What's going on? Gah! And why does it smell like bleach in here? Wasn't I supposed to be on my way to the graduation venue? Wait, that's right. Nope, the car's not going anywhere. We're stranded. Nice job on leaving the tank empty, dude. Now how are we gonna get there? Something's wrong. I know I filled it up yesterday. I have the receipt and everything. Did you do anything else yesterday? No. I gassed it up before I went home. Guys, we can just walk there. It's not like it's raining. That's a 30-minute walk. We'd be late. It's better than not being there at all. It's not like we have a choice in the matter. Yeah, let's just speed walk or something. Huh? Hey, you guys need a lift to the venue? I'm on my way there. Oh my gosh, yes! You are a lifesaver! Huh? Who are you? Chem Major. Don't even worry about it. Come on! I think Michaela Law's voice is one of the characters in here. I'm trying to remember which one. I don't know. Oh, come on. I got room, I promise. Hop in. You can walk if you want. I'm getting in the van. Me too! Wait up! Well, it's better than being late. Yes, she's Rosa. Michaela Laws is the voice actor for Rosa. <sighs> Chris, you coming? That guy. He drove all of us. But then why am I here? Damn it. Oh, shit! What about the others? Rosa! Lisa! Peter! Xavier! I gotta find them. What the? This place is huge. Is this some kind of medical facility? Everything looks clean and sterile. What kind of a person owns this place? This is all sorts of messed up. What's with this giant TV? Huh? An elevated console? It looks like it's on. What is this? A game? It's like a kid's drawing or something. I'm not gonna even try with the deep voice, I'm Three, sorry. Three, two, one! Okay, here I go! Watch out! I'm gonna catch you! Is that Ethan? What is this? Okay, use the arrow keys to move. What's that? Rawr! 
The monster is going to eat you and your friends. <laughs> what? You can't eat them if I protect them with a magical flower crown. I guess I have to take these flowers to the toys? Yeah, so, let's do that. Yay! Oh, no! I don't want to get caught by the dragon monster! Ah! That seems so harmless, though. Ah, crap. I've got you! Da. Ah, I have no flowers to protect me! Okay. Sorry, it's kind of odd. Nope. Nope. Got your flower crown. <laughs> God damn. Sorry if it seems kind of laggy, because it's laggy for me too. So. Let's go and get the other crown. No, 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 no. Got your flower crown. <laughs> God damn. Uh, I got it again. Okay, there's one on that side. Gotta get it there. No, no! Got your flower crown. <laughs> Why you no move? Okay, there we go. Yep, it's laggy. Eh, it doesn't matter. Brother! Where did you go? What? Oh, is that where I'm supposed to go? No? Where where am I supposed to go now? No, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. Ah, no, go that way. Are you out here? Why does this bother me so much? It bothers me too, Chris, don't worry. That was extremely weird. I'm sorry, I'm not going to give him a voice, because he already has a voice. So I'm just going to be the thoughts. What kind of game was that? Why is it even here? Fuck it. This whole situation makes no damn sense. Gotta stay focused. Gotta find the others. Huh? There are more rooms along the walls. Are the rest of them in the other rooms? Well, might as well pick one to check. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Well, for, first things first, that's a girl. That's a guy. That's a guy. That's a girl. Hmm. Should we check bro to bro? I think we should do bros first. Let's see. Which bro should we do? Which should... Mm -hmm. I think we'll go to the bottom one. This room looks just like my- Oh my god, Peter? Peter! Uh, uh, huh? Peter, thank god, are you okay? Uh, hey Chris. Ow, my head. Oh shit, are you alright? It's all good. Nothing I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> uh. Jeez, where to scare the shit out of me, Pete? Here, let me help you up. Thanks. Ugh. Where are we? I don't know, but I think we're in some kind of bunker. A bunker? Yeah, the room outside this one is massive and made of stuff you built medical bunkers with. What kind of... Ugh, this makes no sense. Why were we brought here? Beats me. Well... At least the bed was comfy. Really, Peter? <laughs> Can't blame me for trying to look on the bright side of things. True. I hope the others are okay. Still, none of this makes any sense. How did we all get here? It has to have been that guy who offered to drive us. I friggin' knew it! Ugh! Did you find the others? No, I just woke up. You were the first person I found. Well then, let's go find the other. Oh dear. Oh shit! That's Xavier! 
Let's go. Oh my god! Chris! Peter! Rosa! Are you all okay? Where are we? What happened? We don't know. We just woke up. No, I just want this damn thing off. What thing? This thing. Oh, bracelets, steel wrists, something like that. All of us have it. They all look like they've been wielded onto us. But I have, but I had the only gold bracelet. I have that same bracelet. What is it? Whatever it is, I slammed it into the wall, and it friggin' shocked the hell out of me. It feels like it was welded on our wrists. It feels like it's made of steel. It wouldn't break if you hit it against anything, you idiot! Why did you even try to break it? Smart. Shut the hell up. <laughs> it won't come off! Come on! Hey, don't mess with it too much. It might shock you too. <laughs> right! Uh, this is bullshit. Why are we here? How the hell should we know? We were all drugged! Guys! Now is not the time to go crazy! We need to put our heads together and figure out what's going on. The girls seem really shaken by this. I don't blame them. Xavier just got electrocuted, but Peter's right. Oh, jeez. Um... Um... God dang it, why choices? Why? Why the choices? Um... I mean... I feel like the most... The most... Better thing to do is to calm the girls down, because... I'm not putting anything towards girls, because I'm a girl too. I mean, if I was shaken up too, I would probably need some comfort. I, I'm not saying anything for guys either. Guys need to be calmed as well, but... Um... This is so confusing. I want to support Peter. I really do. I want to check on Xavier because he just got shocked. But he's probably... To I think he's fine. He looks fine to me. <laughs> if he's able to make remarks. So, support Peter or calm the girls down. Hmm. Um. God dang it. I need to hurry up and choose a choice. Um. You know what? I'm just gonna call them the girls now. Girls, let's try and figure this all out before we drive ourselves crazy. Let's just calm down. I can't calm down! I'm scared! Oh, well, that was the wrong thing to do. I know you are, but if we calm down, then we can think of a way out. Chris is right, Rosa. Just take a couple of breaths. Okay, okay. The less panicked we are, the more likely we'll find some sort of way out. Just breathe. Okay. <laughs> Popular with the ladies like always, Chris. Hey! Shut up, Pete. <laughs> so, any ideas on where to start looking? That's a stupid question. What do you mean? It's kind of obvious how we get out. Look over there. Jesus, that door is big. That's the biggest door in the room. That has to be the exit. Then let's just go! Rosa, look again. Yeah, it's, it's covered with lasers. Oh crap, a laser grid? I barely noticed it. Huh? Eep! That is a scary laser grid. Don't tell me that grid shocks us or something if we touch it. Probably if it's meant to keep us in here. Peter, go touch it. Are you kidding me? Don't send Peter to touch it! What? Fuck you! <laughs> Xavier! Never know what it does until you try it out. That's not funny! It's too dangerous to try! So how do we unlock it and make the grid disappear? There are no visible keyholes and no card slots. We are trapped in here while the locks are either on the other side or are unlocked electronically. In other words, we are stuck here and are back to square one. This is way too fucked up. This is garbage! Who would do this to us? The guy who kidnapped us. You don't mean that guy who offered us a ride, do you? No, of course, Rosa. Who else could have done it? He had the perfect opportunity. I mean, that's what I'm thinking too, so. But he looked like us. He looked like he came from our school. 
As much as I want to agree, anyone could have bought our school logo merchandise and pretended to be a student. Wait! Do you think he had something to do with my car being out of gas? Um, probably not to go that far. You know what? He probably did if we were his targets. Oh. Okay then. I still don't understand. Why us? Yeah, if this guy wanted to kidnap someone, it would be much harder to get a group all at once. Why all of us? Because he's some freak of nature. It doesn't matter why, okay? All that matters is that we're stuck here and we need to get out. We can't though. That door seems to be our only way out and it's apparently locked from the other side. That can't be true. Let's split up and try to find another way out. You know, Lisa could be right. Let's just try and find another way out and see what happens. I still think that the door is our only way out. We can't be sure until we check. All right, let's just spread out and see what we can find. This entire place gives me the creeps. Like this was built specifically for us. Um... Oh god, now we gotta check with the guys or girl... Okay. Um... We're gonna go with the girl this time. So we could go with Lisa or Rosa. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's go with Lisa. Huh? A kitchen in a place like this? What the? My thoughts exactly. Why would there be a kitchen here? Everything looks brand new too. Electric stove, counters, fancy sink. It's like everything was set up for us. Look, even the fridge is stocked. Water, frozen food, pudding? Even the cabinets have canned food. There's food in here for weeks. What the hell? Oh, whoever this sick freak is, they are really messed up in the head. You got that right. Why kidnap us and stick us in a place like this? Who gives a crap why? They don't care about us. All we have to do is get out somehow. Um... Right, we need to think about it. Ah, uh, <laughs> choices, choices, choices. Uh, still, we, I think we should think about it. Ugh, whatever. Well, I didn't see any exits in there. Did you? Nope. Uh, guys? Oh, the TV! Huh? What is it? Look. The TV's on. Well, what is that? Good morning, little insects. Hi, you are creepy. Insects? What the hell? Did you enjoy your ride? Your comfy beds? Oh, I truly hope so. Okay, so that was the guy that kidnapped us. Okay. That's, that's exactly, okay. Whoever you are, let us out! Oh, I can't do that. Not yet, at least. Not yet? What do you mean? My, my, so many questions, and you haven't answered any of mine. How rude. Why the hell should we answer you? You trapped us in here! For good reason. However, there is no excuse for bad manners. So, did you all enjoy your ride here? I mean, we were unconscious, so how are we supposed to know if we enjoyed our ride here? You're making no sense, Mask. We did. We <laughs> choices again. Uh, I want to not answer him, but I don't want to get on his bad side. I might as well say we didn't because we were unconscious, so of course not. We did not. Ah, see? At least one of you has manners. I apologize, however, that you didn't enjoy your trip here. Mm, fuck you. Chris, why would you even answer this lunatic? Uh, I'm trying to be nice. So straightforward. Though I expected nothing less from the Monarch Butterfly. Monarch Butterfly? Now we have pet names? Of course. All of you have wonderful little nicknames. They match you perfectly, I assure you. That is messed up. That tells us one thing, though. 
What are you talking about? This free kidnapper knows us personally. If we all have pet names that match us, then they have to know us and target us specifically. Hey, Xavier said something smart. So this wasn't a convenient group kidnapping. If you seriously thought this whole thing was convenience, I will bitch slap you. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. But why us, though? It's for a good reason. I promise. Yeah, just tell me what the reason is, boy. There is no good reason for kidnapping people! I mean, that's what... I agree with Lisa. Of course. Why kidnap us if you have no reason? Tell us the goddamn reason. If you think the reason is good, then tell us why you kidnapped us. Okay. Are you sure? There are many benefits to kidnapping someone. Enlighten me, please. Like what? Basically what Rosa said. Opportunity. Huh? Opportunity? Yes, this is the perfect chance for the truth to be revealed. The truth? What truth? I'll say this. A couple of you have been very, very naughty and don't deserve to be alive right now. What the hell? Don't deserve to be alive? Oh, was that too scary of me? I'm such a silly bird. And now he's calling himself a bird. This is nuts. If you know the truth, then why not tell us? Where's the fun in just giving out answers? Oh, jeez. How does locking us in here get people to confess? There are five of you. With everyone in such close proximity, it would be very hard to hide secrets. Like the truth of the past. Alright, if anyone's got anything to confess, spit it out. Really, Peter? Really? Really? Really, Peter? <laughs> what Lisa said. Hey, Lisa gets me. Oh, Peter. If only it were that simple. Of course, I'd already taken into consideration that the truth would remain persistently hidden, despite the environment. After all, the truth is so terrible, the ones who know it would never want it to be revealed. Ew. Okay? You're making no sense! Do you want us to find out the truth or not? Oh, I do. I very much want you all to know the truth. That's why I've taken some extra measures. Extra measures? Allow me to ask you this. How did you all become friends? That's easy. We... We... How did we become friends? I can't remember. How? what now? Huh? How could we forget? Why can't we remember how we became friends? <laughs> I've always been so curious what Alter Propanolo can do to the human mind. Excuse you, stop tampering with our memories. What did you do to us? Nothing terrible. I simply locked away your long-term memories with a little sedative. You can't remember anything past the abduction, can you? Propanolo, you made a beta blocker sedative for drug-induced amnesia. Very good, Rosa. As expected from a medical student. I'm surprised you know all of that, despite the medication. Why would you do that? So many questions! Can't everything be solved on your own? After all, Xavier, you are supposedly the smart one. Him? The smart one? Really? 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 Okay, I'll stop. I WILL BREAK THIS TV! I wouldn't suggest doing that. Unless, of course, you're a masochist for electricity. Ah, uh, no thank you! God! You fucking sadist! Okay. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this so much. The squirming. The anger. Back so many memories. Ah, oh, how are we gonna find out the truth if you blocked it from us? Oh, don't panic so quickly. 
The effects are temporary if left unchecked. How long do they last, then? Well, from the dosages I gave everyone, I would say a week. Maybe two. So we have to stay here until we remember? Think of it like a treasure hunt. All of you get to work together in unlocking the chests of your memories. And all of you will find out the truth. Make sure you all work hard to find that truth. You'll be stuck here until you do. God damn it. This person. Who are they? Well, I should be specific. Make sure you work hard to find the truth. Chris. What? Me? Us? What? What? Me? You are very special, Chris. I cannot wait until the truth is revealed. What will you do, I wonder? Oh yeah, I forgot. Chris is the main character. We are the main character. Alejandro Saab is the main character once again. Okay, I'm gonna stop. You're insane. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? The first game is about to begin. First game? What? Huh? Game? What do you mean? Your special game! Does your generation not enjoy games anymore? That's disappointing. After all of the trouble I went through to make this a fun experience. There's nothing fun about being drugged and kidnapped. Regardless, Rosa, Lisa, Xavier, and Peter, please make your way to the platform and line up on the red circles. Why the hell should we? Lisa, let's just go. Why? Lisa, he can electrocute us. Maybe Rosa should be named the smartest one. Then again, Lisa, you were always dim when it came to details. Hey, don't be mean to Lisa. Excuse me? Lisa, just start walking. Now, Chris, you get to use the console. Aha, uh -huh, what now? Me? What am I using it for? You'll see. Alright, we're here. Now what? My, my, so anxious. How about I ease your minds with a little story? Ooh, story time! Oh wait, we're in a dangerous situation, but... Whatever. Story time any day. Seriously? <laughs> The tragic tale of a beautiful butterfly. Once there was a butterfly that wandered too far from its home. It was a gorgeous butterfly indeed. But, little did it know, an evil bird was trailing it, hoping to rip apart its wings for fun. What kind of messed up story is that? Do you all like that? No. That's it? <laughs> That's all I'll share for now. Can't give away too much of the story at once. This guy's a lunatic! Do you hear me? You're a lunatic! Uh, Lisa, could we just calm down a little? I know you probably shouldn't be told to calm down, but still. Call me whatever you like, little insect. It doesn't change the fact that you are trapped in my nest. Ah! Oh, well... What the hell? Hey! Let him down! Guys! What is this? <laughs> Welcome to your first charge, Monarch Butterfly. Your goal is simple. Save your friends from a nasty little bird. What now? Let them out! Now! Oh, only you can do that, Chris. <laughs> The ball is in your court. Will you save them? Or leave them to die? Save the door! Let him go! No! Chris, help us! Chris, just do what he says! Please, save us! What kind of fucked up game is this? What the fuck is going on? Guys, look down! Ah! Water! What the? The tubes are filling up with water? <laughs> you better hurry! 
Those tubes are sealed tightly and will fill completely with water if you don't rescue them all in time. Oh, dear Lord. I have no choice. Damn it. I'll save you guys. Don't worry. Oh, this is beyond exciting. <laughs> well then, shall we begin? If I don't save them, they'll drown in those tubes. I have to keep my calm and get through this. Still, I have to play that little kid game to save them? Guess it makes sense. Guess it makes sense. How does it make sense? Just run from the... Wait. Butterflies? Hold up, what now? Um, what do I do? No, 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 I no! <laughs> no! <gasps> yes! The water seems to have stopped! Thank you! Um. Okay, so we gotta do this. No! Come on, we're running out of time! We're running out of time! <gasps> no! And I'm gonna get. God damn it. I hate you! I hate you! Stupid thing! No! God damn it! No, 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 This is gonna take a while! Shit, 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 shit! Come on, it's stop! Thanks, Chris! I have to save the others! Aw, shit! No, 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 Come on, come on, come on! Save the other one! Jesus Christ, the one stop. Save it, save it! Oh, jeez. No, no. Damn! Running out of time, running out of time! Oh, no! One more person, one more person, one more person. Come on, come on. Why is this? Ah, uh, nope, died away. Nope. Come on, running out of time, running out of time. Ah, oh, come on! Oh my god, Chris! No more water! Thank you, Chris! Whew! Jeez, that was pressuring, especially since that thing was super freaking laggy! I hate you all. We're out! Guys! Thank you, Chris! Thank you! It was a lot of pressure, but I did it. You did it, man! Holy shit! I did it! Well done, Monarch! Perhaps you are the person she imagined you to be. What? Huh? She? She? What do you mean? Hmm? Did, did my medicine mean? really erase that much of your memory? Oh shit, Sherlock. What are you talking about? He's just being psycho again. Just ignore him. I'm curious of the reaction this will cause, so I will share a little secret. What? What secret? Why do I feel uneasy? Chris, tell us. Do you remember a girl named Sarah? <laughs> Chris! Chris! Come on! An Amber Alert has just been released for eight-year-old Sarah Meyer. And how what now? How could we have lost her? We'll do what we can to find her, ma'am. Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> so you do remember her. Sarah? Who is Sarah? I think I remember her. Yeah. Isn't she my little sister? She went missing years ago, and there's been no sign of her. Wait, you have a little sister? Hmm. The medicine seems to be affecting each of you differently. Interesting. Wait! What happened to your sister? <laughs> well then, maybe I should let you all figure that out yourselves. You sick fuck! It was you who took her, wasn't it? That's why you're doing this! Where is she?! Ah, if I told you, then you won't play my little game. 
Besides, I'm not the only one who knows what happened to her. What? The fuck are you going on about? What? Someone else knows what happened to her? Consider this a gift, Chris. You'll finally be able to discover the truth about the disappearance of your sister. A truth that was hidden beneath your very nose. I truly hope you all enjoy your stay. May you all find the truth of Sarah's disappearance together. <laughs> A sick fuck. Find the truth together. That means one or more of my friends knows what happened to Sarah, and they've been hiding the truth from me for years. So the kidnapper got us all in here so that I would finally learn what happened. I don't know whether to be horrified or gratified. Regardless, this is my chance. What happened to Sarah? Ah, oh, to be continued! Oh, that's it! That is the demo for Remember Remember! Wow, that was... Yo! <laughs> that was really cool! So, I... Um... The voice actors did a really good job. The art was fantastic i personally love it right now the story i'm i'm more excited as to, for the story like what happened now i'm now i'm curious oh <laughs> damn it michaela you made me curious damn it ethan you too you made me curious Ugh. um i believe the full game will come out in february i am not sure myself but i guess uh, either i will keep you on updated or M Madam Sharky will keep you updated, or Michaela Laws herself will keep us updated, and I'll let you guys know, I guess. So yeah, this was the demo for Remember Remember. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, then click subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Have a very spooky Halloween! See you guys next time!